गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई होप यू ऑल आर फिट एंड हेल्थी सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोसीड ऑन द टॉपिक दैट इज डबल सर्कुलेशन सो हेयर यू विल सी दैट इन आर बॉडी देर आर टू इंडिपेंडेंट सर्कुलेशन दैट इज पलमनरी सर्कुलेशन एंड सिस्टेमिक सर्कुलेशन सो इन द पलमनरी सर्कुलेशन वेर एवर यू विल फाइंड द टर्म पलमनरी it means it is associated with lung so pulmonary circulation you will observe here that the circulation of blood is between the lung and the heart so here we know the right auricle it is receiving the deoxygenated blood and the right left auricle it is receiving the oxygenated blood so the right auricle which receives the deoxygenated blood it transfer the blood to the right ventricle and from the right ventricle it passes to pulmonary artery and from there it is moved towards the right and left lung respectively then after that in the lung the blood it is getting the oxygen and after exchange of oxygen from the lung the blood that is deoxygenated blood now it has received the oxygen and now it has become the oxygenated blood and it will move further back towards the heart through pulmonary vein and it will enter into the left auricle and from the left auricle it is pumped back towards left ventricle and from there it is moved towards aorta and the uh, this main artery that is aorta it further branches out and the arteries again they carry the oxygenated blood and from there the oxygenated blood goes to the all parts of the body and now these are the organs are present here they have received the oxygen and again the blood it get deoxygenated and deoxygenated blood again come back to the right auricle so in systemic circulation circulation of blood is between body parts and heart however in pulmonary circulation the circulation of blood is between lung and the heart so you need to know that there are two types of circulation in a body and two independent circulations are there that is known as pulmonary circulation and the second one is systemic circulation in pulmonary circulation circulation of blood is between lung and the heart however in systemic circulation circulation of blood is between body parts and heart so this is the major difference between pulmonary and systemic circulation so as you can observe here the blood travels twice through heart in one complete cycle and this is known as double circulation so in double circulation the blood travels twice through heart in one complete cycle and there you will need to know about pulmonary circulation and systemic circulation again repeating in the pulmonary circulation the circulation of blood is between lung and the heart however in systemic circulation the blood is circulated between body parts and heart so this is about the double circulation now let us see about heart beat so heart beat means here you will study about systole and diastole so the rhythmic contraction and relaxation of auricles and ventricles is known as heartbeat heartbeat is the contraction and relaxation of auricles and ventricles you know whenever our heart is beating the upper two chambers that is auricles when they are contracted the lower chambers are relaxed similarly this rhythmic contraction of auricles and ventricles is known as heartbeat 
एंड इन अ मिनट आर हार्ट बीट्स अबाउट सेवेंटी टू टाइम्स वेन वेन देर इज अ कंट्रेक्शन ऑफ हार्ट मसल्स देन वी विल से इट इज नोन एज सिस्टोल फेस एंड वेन देर इज अ रिलैक्सेशन ऑफ एंड वेन देर इज अ रिलैक्सेशन ऑफ हार्ट मसल्स देन वी विल से इट इज अ डायस्टोल और जनरल पॉज फेज सो दिस हार्ट बीट इज डिफाइंड एज रिदमिक कंट्रेक्शन एंड रिलैक्सेशन ऑफ ऑरिकल्स एंड वेंट्रिकल्स हाउ एवर If we consider independently, this phase of contraction of heart muscle will be referred to as systole, and phase of relaxation of heart muscle will be referred to as diastole or general pass. So this is about the heart beat. The definition of heart beat is important. So this is all for today. Take care, everyone.